My favorite sandwich is probably a classic grilled cheese. My favorite actually is grilled cheese with white bread and American cheese. Anything that has uh, like turkey or ham. Funnily enough, my favorite sandwich is actually Rafael's first line in the whole play, which is a Cubano sandwich. I would say probably a, a Cubano. Uh, but it has to be on actual proper Cubano bread made with lard. I'm not a big cheese person, but anything that just has a lot of flavor. Cheddar, mozzarella, Colby, um, with some truffle aioli on the side. Clyde's is about five formerly incarcerated individuals who are working at a roadside sandwich diner in rural Pennsylvania. And four of those characters are on a quest to create the world's greatest sandwich. And then they kind of do, which would be great if it wasn't for the fact that the fifth character who owns the diner is kind of using the establishment as a money laundering scheme for the mob, perhaps. The language and the dialogue and the text of the play is something that I think audiences will be able to reflect on. Um, I know that a lot of uh, forward theater audiences um, are into uh, the text and into the writing. And I think that Lynn Nottage has done a phenomenal job with how she writes these characters. The language um, rings true and it is smart language and it is stuff that people say. She's always been a playwright that I've deeply admired. I, I always am blown away each new time that I read her work because every time I feel like I'm discovering a new layer that she has built into the structure of the narrative and a new aspect of character that tends to reveal itself over time. I think a lot of it comes down to, to community and humanity and relationships between people. and and what's really important in our world in listening to each other, caring for each other, and finding something that you care about and something that fulfills you. And I think that's something that, that lives in this play very, very heavily. I think how um, connected we are to sustenance and what different forms that sustenance takes. Uh, you know, there's the obvious one in this play, which is food, um, but we also require human interaction, um, human compassion, and being seen and being understood and being heard. And those are things that sustain us. And, and a lot of the language in the show is about finding that for yourself um, and in yourself and also for providing that for other people. The active choice to find joy in what one does in spite of um, odds that seem designed to subject and suppress an individual and how one does their best to thrive within that, I think is a really intense and constant theme throughout the play, even amidst all the shenanigans and amidst all the comedy.